Hey, good evening, Thomas. Um, all right, so I'm making the uh, video that I was telling you that I wanted to make. I'm going to show you a couple of things here so that you can see uh, the settings that I'm using. Um, let's see here. For GeForce, all right, the recording settings that I have over here. Uh, let's go here, settings. All right, so I have it set for 1440p HD. All right, it's not set for the 2160. This monitor's re uh, native resolution is 3440 by 1440 219. All right, so this is all set up for 1440p at 30 frames per second. Um, when I take the videos, let's see here, let's get out of here. All right, so that's all set up. Let me show you the settings that I have for Sony Vega. All right, so let me just uh, throw a quick video in here. Open. I believe this is it right here. Now, I'm going to do everything in real time so that you can see what I'm hitting here. I have here for the settings. These are my custom settings, 3440 by 1440. Uh, all this stuff that I've actually put in here, I, I did a lot of research on uh, YouTube looking at different... Um, different videos, different settings, uh, anything specific to the resolution that I have uh, for my computer itself or for my monitor. I don't know why this is at 56 for 60. To be honest, I don't know. All right. So if you see anything here that might be a little off or something that I need to change, uh, by all means, let me know. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely change them out. So that's that. So let's say, uh, let's say I'm going to do this video over here. These are my render as settings over here. Let me see if I can get uh, What did I do with it here? It's going not main right here. And 1440 is what I set up. Uh, so you can see uh, I have it at uh, 3440 by 1440. Uh, you know, 50, 60 frames per second, 59.94 is as much as I can get to. Um, like I said, these are the settings that I uh, I found online. Okay. So I am going to... I'm just going to render this. Here, let's call this test. I'm just going to render this. Free disk space. Okay. And um, one of the things I noticed is that I do have uh, I have the um, 1080 Ti and there's an option here where you can actually have it so that the graphics card I guess takes over the render and makes it faster but when I try to select that um, it drops it from 59 uh, 9 4 whatever the number was to 24 frames per second I I'm I'm pretty new to this software I usually use uh, Premiere Pro but you know consistently paying uh, every month for that for something that you know, I don't really use too too much it, it wasn't cost-effective for me So I ended up just buying this software after watching a lot of reviews of uh, a lot of youtubers who do the flight sims record with this software Anyway, uh, this should be done here I'm going to play it back or at least show you what the video looks like and you can see um, that it's not as fluid as your videos or a lot of videos that I've seen online. Like I said, I, I've been asking a lot of questions. Uh, a lot of YouTubers uh, really don't get, get back to um, their subscribers. You know, I'm sure they're busy, whatever case. Let me open this up now and we'll play it back. Now, the, the, the flight was recorded, uh, I think, somewhere around 34 frames per second. That's, that's what I'm getting right now out of this airport and this aircraft with the settings that I have right now about 34 frames per second and you can see um, I, I, it's, it's very hard to explain like I said before I call it the soap opera effect uh, because it looks lifelike um, on your video on um, there's another gentleman uh, Pilot 8 or something like that. I can't remember. His videos look phenomenal. They, they, I'm not sure exactly how he does it. I, I've tried to ask him, 
but I'm sure you know it's pretty busy. You can't really get back to people. Um, basically, I've seen videos of, of people stating that what they do is they they record at half the speed and um, and then render it twice as fast or something like that. I'm not too sure how that works out or what, but um, this is what it looks like right now, as you could just see in the video. You've seen the settings. You've seen what I've done. This is just, like I said, this is just a quick video explaining the things that uh, that I have here. I'm not sure if through from with the settings that you've seen, if there's something I should change. I'm wondering if um, if the shadow play is going to be good enough to do these videos, or if I really have to go out and get the Elgato. Um, the problem with that is I, I went to look up the uh, that that hardware and it's like so many different ones. I, I'm not too sure which one I actually need. I don't do any streaming, all right. I just I record the videos, I edit them, and then um, I put them online. Like if I want to do tutorials on how to use certain software, things like that, you know. Um, I don't make you know movies with you know music in the background and all that stuff. I like to just do tutorials and stuff. But I I like my videos, especially with the flight simulation, to play very fluid especially like your video um and like i said i'm just asking to see if maybe you might see something that that i need to change or something i, I should try um and that's basically it uh, so i just wanted to make this quick short video to show you what's going on what my system is uh i have a pretty beefy system so i, I definitely don't have any issues on that end um but like i said if you see something i should change please let me know i appreciate your time thank you very much Bye bye